If the stator has been identified as not producing at least 13 volts AC, it likely has failed. Though depending on the results of stator resistance testing, you may want to inspect the flywheel magnets before ordering parts. Set multimeter to ohms. With the engine off, unplug the connector from the rectifier regulator. Stator resistance is measured between the white leads and we're looking for an extremely low resistance value of 100 to 200 milliohms. This is near the limit of accuracy for most multimeters, meaning any resistance in the leads, probes, or at testing locations will cause inaccurate test results, possibly resulting in replacement of a stator that isn't defective. Resistance testing alone should not be considered an objective test, which is why it's important to test stator output first. I decided to use probes from our EFI service kit in hopes of getting a better connection. Due to the small diameter of the probes, confirming zero on the multimeter can be difficult, so I use this alligator attachment for assistance. If resistance measured is 100 to 200 milliohms, stator resistance is normal. If resistance measured is zero ohms and the stator failed output testing, the stator is shorted and needs replacement. If resistance measured is infinity or open circuit and the stator failed output testing, the stator is open and needs replacement. Next, I'm going to measure for a short between the stator and ground. I'm going to start this test by confirming I have a low resistance connection to battery ground. If resistance measured is infinity or open circuit, the stator passes test and is not shorted to ground. If resistance is measured, the stator is shorted to ground and needs replacement. Remember, if the stator fails output and resistance tests, you may want to inspect the flywheel magnets for damage before ordering parts.